Hello world, this is Fleet Hacker 007 and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up and run a Tor Relay or Tor Server on your computer. This ins these instructions will work for both Mac OS X and Windows, it's the same. So essentially for those of you who don't know what Tor is, it's a basically a system that enables you to browse the internet anonymously and also bypass web censorship that uh, that and it does this by sort of pinging you around your server information around through different proxy servers that are located in different parts of the world and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up and use one of those servers and once again these instructions will work on both Mac OS X and Windows computers so what you're going to want to do is go to your web browser and if you're on a Mac download Vidalia from this uh, link right here which will be in the description and then if you're on a Windows you just want to you just want to paste this link in and then once you press enter the download will automatically start so again the, this link will be in the description so once it's downloaded you just want to run the installer and then you want to install all the components all this Vidalia and Tor but I've already installed it, so I don't need to install it again. But just run the installer and then make sure you're installing all the components. So once you've installed it, you just want to open Vidalia and you'll get this window here. Now, if it might say it's connecting to the Tor network. And in that case, what you want to do is you want to click Stop Tor. Then you want to go and click Setup Relaying. Click on Advanced and then right here make sure it's checked to use a TCP connection and then here's the kicker you have to for your relay you have to use ports that are set up for port forwarding on your on your router or firewall so you're going to have to, to have to set up port, port forwarding on your firewall or router then whatever ports you set up those are the ports you're gonna have to use for your relay so once you put in a port that you've set up for uh, port forwarding right here in this field, you just want to go and click sharing. And you want to, there's three types of relays that you can run. You can run a non-exit relay, in which case you'll be the, either the first or the second relay that Tor users connect to. You can run a, tr you can run traffic for the Tor network, or which will, in which case you'll be an exit relay. And in this case, you might want to be a bit careful because um, if you choose to run this type of relay, it might be possible for your ISP to get you in trouble for what websites people who are using Tor and are coming through your exit relay are using. So keep that in mind. But they do need people to run this type of relay as well. So Then there's help censored users reach the Tor network. And essentially what this one will do is it will start you up as a hidden Tor server, also known as a bridge. And what bridges are in there is they're essentially hidden Tor servers that are used for if for people who are trying to use Tor on a network where the Tor network is blocked. So if you want to do if you want to use that, if you want to help people who are blocked from using Tor be able to use Tor, then select this type of relay and Tor will Will basically use that uh, bridge ad address and distribute it to people anonymously so what make sure you have this one checked if you choose this one so he, now you want to type in the your the name of your relay and this is the name that your relay will appear as on the network then if you want to you don't have to but you can type in an email address and what this email address is used for is for Tor to be able to contact you if you're if there's something not working right, right with your relay or something looks strange but you don't have to do this if you don't want to so once you're gonna so once you've done that you just go to relay port and type in one of the ports that you the port that you want to use and once again it has to be a port that's set up for port forwarding on your firewall so once you've done all that I'm gonna choose this one just click OK and then click start tour 
and it's gonna so say like it's connecting to the Tor network and all that. It should, it might take a minute to do, but not very long. Just let it do that, and uh, let it work work on this progress bar until it says it's connected to the Tor network. And then once it's connected to the Tor network, you just want to click on message log. And it's going to say that like it's checking the ports and all that. And if you've done everything right, if you've used port, if, you're, if in the earlier step, you use ports that you have set up for port forwarding, then within like a couple minutes, it'll come up with maybe like 20 minutes toss. It'll come up with this message that'll say your relay is online. Your relay is now online, available for Tor clients to use. You should see an increase in network traffic shown by the bandwidth graph. Thanks for contributing to Tor. Then you can just, once you've got that, you can just close that. And uh, you can click on view the network to see, to see what other relays there are and see what other relays that you're kind of connected to. And maybe you can see whether or not there's so someone using a relay, but you can't actually see who that is for obvious reasons. So once you're kind of done with that, you can uh, click on bandwidth graph to see how much bandwidth the tor on your network, tor your Tor relay is currently using. And uh, forgot to mention, forgot to mention this, but uh, um, if you go to setup relaying, go to bandwidth limits. You can edit how much uh, bandwidth your relay can use on your network. This is a pretty good one to use, but if you want to, you can change it and then just click OK. And that's about it. If you ever want to stop your relay, all you have to do is just click Stop Tor and, or click and fully close the software. Whereas if you want your relay to be running all the time, if you want to leave it running, that is, all you have to do is just leave this and then minimize it. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Fleet Hacker 007. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day, and I'm signing off. Hopefully, I'll see you next video.